Hello, my name is Owen Lafleur, and today I'm going to be showing you the basic functions of a DSLR camera. The camera that I'll be using is a Canon EOS Rebel T7, but you could be using a different kind of DSLR Canon camera, or a different branded DSLR camera such as Nikon or Sony. In order to turn on the camera, you have to flick the switch towards to where it says on. Then on the screen, it will show the shutter speed, the aperture, and the ISO on the very top of the screen. Under that is the exposure meter, where if the line is on the far left side, the exposure will be too dark. If the line is on the far right side, the exposure will be too bright. In order to get the correct exposure for a better looking photograph, I'd recommend keeping the line as close to the middle as possible. Currently, if I were to move the main dial left and right, the shutter speed will change the speed of the photograph per second. For example, 1 of 30 means that the photograph will be taken 1 30th of a second. Or, if I were to switch it to 1 of 200, the photograph will be taken in 1 200th of a second. The slower the shutter speed, the more time is needed to take a photograph. The faster the shutter speed, the less time is needed to take a photograph. If I were to hold the exposure compensation button and move the main dial from left to right, it will change the aperture or f-stop number. Raising the f-stop number will create a larger depth of field. Lowering the f-stop number will create a smaller depth of field. If I were to press the button that says ISO on the cross keys, it will bring me into the ISO menu where I can change how much light goes into the camera. Raising the ISO will cause more light to come in, which is good for taking photographs in the dark. However, the higher the ISO, the grainier your photograph will look. If I were to press the quick control button, it will allow me to move around freely and change anything on the screen. On top of the camera, we can see the mode dial. The most important settings for the mode dial are M, AV, TV, and the video camera icon. The video camera icon is used for filming video, and the other three options are used for photography. The TV icon, also known as shutter priority, gives you full control of the ISO and shutter speed, but the camera has full control of the aperture. The AV icon, also known as aperture priority, gives you full control of the ISO and aperture but the camera has full control of the shutter speed. The M icon, also known as manual exposure, gives you full control of the ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. When I take my photographs, I prefer to use manual mode because I like having full control of the camera. However, if you're using a Nikon or Sony DSLR camera, the mode dial icons will probably look or be called something different. If you look through the viewfinder that's on top of the LCD screen, you'll be able to see what your camera is seeing. However, if your camera is on top of a tripod, you can use the live view button, which allows you to see what the camera is seeing on the LCD screen, but you'll be unable to look through the viewfinder. Also, a small note for people who are nearsighted, you can look through the viewfinder and use the viewfinder adjustment dial to adjust it to your eyesight. The shutter button is at the top of the camera where your index finger would be. And if you hold the shutter button down just before it makes a click noise, the camera will begin to focus on the fixated subject. Once the camera is in focus, hold the shutter button all the way down and you'll have your photograph. To access your photographs, click on the playback button and it will give you access to all your photographs saved on the SD card. Pressing the exposure compensation button will allow you to delete the photograph or not. The point selection button allows you to zoom in on your photograph and the lock button allows you to zoom out on your photograph. Lastly, pressing the left and right cross keys will show you your past or recent photographs. I hope this helped you learn more about DSLR cameras and I hope you enjoyed watching this video as well.